Okay, OGers, I want to talk to you guys today a little bit about uh, maybe how you guys pay your bills. Um, I know not everyone thinks like me, but I don't like sitting down every month and writing out a check, putting it in an envelope, blah, 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 taking it to the post office and mail it. Uh, not, not a big fan. Uh, for several years now, I've been pretty fortunate. Uh, and this is something you people can do with your tax returns, because this is when I started doing it, back whenever I was getting a pretty good tax return. So, you know, you, you get your money back, or more money than you pay. And you, you look at your lowest bill. You know, my lowest bill is usually my gas bill. And I, I have it on the, the budget plan, so it's the same every month. And that's the only reason I do it. So, you know, $50, $55, $60, whatever it is. Just multiply it by 12 and mail it. Right now, my electric bill is $52 a month, or my gas bill is $52 a month. So that's what? $600, $624 a month. Yeah, that's what it is. You know, write one check, put it in the thing, send it out. Now, if you're paying your bill monthly and mailing it, it's going to cost you about $13 a year to mail those back. I'm not a big fan of wasting money. Thirteen dollars, okay. Maybe it's not much, but every little bit helps. So I wouldn't mail it. Now you can get online and pay it through your checking account for free, or you can get online and pay it with a credit card for like a dollar seventy-five or whatever the service fee, the convenience fee is. Okay. Now I prefer to use my Capital One one point five cash back card for one point five percent cash back. So, when you look at that, you know, that's like, I don't know, $9 cash back if you're getting it. So you go ahead and pay that. And then you go through your app, and you pay the card off. So that way you're not getting charged interest. And then in a day or two, you'll have your cash back bonus that you can apply to something else. So you save yourself $13 in postage, stamp, and check. For the year. Plus, you got yourself nine dollars cash back. Yeah, you didn't have to do anything for it. That's like twenty-one dollars. Okay. Now, I don't know about you, but that's like over three percent interest. Are you getting that much from your savings account? I mean, if you're a rich guy, yeah. But if you're a poor guy, because you're getting a tax return. You ain't, you ain't getting that much. Not that, not that high of a percent. Maybe, maybe half a percent, maybe one percent, but not three. So you've just made yourself three percent interest for paying your bill. Now you know. Then you move up to the next bill, which in my case, the, the next highest bill is my internet, which is seventy dollars a month. So, you know, you take that, and you go, okay, it's eight hundred and forty dollars. Now, I don't get penalized for paying that one. You know, so I can pay that one with my credit card, get the 1.5 cash, and that's $12. It's close to $13 I save if I'm not mailing it. <clears throat> A little bit better. You know, and really, if you look at it, most of your bills aren't that much. But the most important thing here is, Pay your electric or pay your gas bill. That freed up fifty dollars a month. Pay your internet bill. That frees up another seventy dollars a month. Pay your electric bill. That frees up about a hundred dollars a month. But whatever your bill is, I'm just using my numbers. <coughs> well, pay your trash. That's like twenty dollars a month. Pay your water. That's a hundred dollars a month. Whatever your bill is, freeze it up. Now, right there, that's what? That's over the three hundred dollars a month. I mean, that's like three hundred and forty dollars a month. Hey, freed up. What would you do with an extra three hundred forty dollars a month that you didn't have to pay out? See, instead of getting that nice big screen TV with your tax money. 
maybe invest in yourself and save yourself some money. Oh, I forgot fire insurance. That's about $100 a month. <coughs> maybe a little bit more. Actually, I think it's about $200 a month now. So, free it up. Free it up. Makes your life a lot easier because then when you get a paycheck, one paycheck to pay your mortgage or rent, if you rent. And then your next paycheck, oh, of course, your food. You gotta buy your food. But your next paycheck, savings. And then next year, you don't need to wait on the tax return to pay it. You take it out of your savings. Bye.